Hi guys, I'm Cheryl Fox, the Carb Addiction RD. Today I want to talk about something that is near and dear to many of us, and that is sugar. Now there seems to be some confusion between the terms sugar and glucose. They tend to be used somewhat interchangeably, particularly when we talk about levels in the blood. Um, and I want to try and clear that up a little bit because there are some key differences. So just to start things off by confusing you even more, I'd like to introduce yet another term, and that is saccharide. Saccharide is a Greek word for sugar. Uh, but it's the term that we use when we talk about uh, biochemistry and chemistry of molecules and it's really a more specific term than is glucose for example or sugar so i want to kind of clarify that if we think of the word saccharide you can have a monosaccharide which is the most basic component of saccharides it means that there is just one molecule and examples of monosaccharides include glucose fructose and galactose now these monosaccharides can join together in a kind of molecular handshake with other monosaccharides. So for example, if I was to illustrate that with some styrofoam colored balls, the three monosaccharides that we consider are this orange ball, which is glucose. We can consider this blue ball as galactose and this green ball as fructose. Now these are all monosaccharides, but if we take, for example, the glucose molecule, and we join it with the fructose molecule like that, we now have a disaccharide. And this particular disaccharide with glucose and fructose is called sucrose, otherwise known as table sugar. Now, if we were to instead use this glucose and join it with the galactose, like this, it is another disaccharide, glucose and galactose. This is called uh, lactose. And you know that as a dairy sugar. So those are the disaccharides that we consider. Now the other kind of thing that can happen is that this glucose molecule can join many other glucose molecules. So this is a simplified version. It can have many other branches and a lot more uh, glucose molecules. So this mass of glucose gall glucose molecules um, in animal cells is called glycogen. It is our storage form of glucose. In plant cells, they also have a storage form of glucose molecules that looks very similar, and we call that starch. So, glucose is a sugar, but not all sugars are glucose. But did you notice that every disaccharide and polysaccharide I made had glucose in them? That is exactly what happens in your digestive tract. Whatever carbohydrate you eat has glucose in it. And we have enzymes that break down all of the disaccharides and all of the polysaccharides down to all of the monosaccharides. So whatever you've consumed, they all have glucose, will break down to the glucose molecules as well as the fructose and the galactose if that's what you've consumed. So that means that any time you consume a carbohydrate, whether it's a monosaccharide, a disaccharide, or a polysaccharide, with the exception of some plant carbohydrates, most of them will break down to glucose. So that means that whether you eat a candy bar or a potato, it all results in glucose to your body. And as you know, glucose is what we measure in the blood when we are considering our metabolic health. So it's worth noting that the fructose is particularly sweet. The glucose is somewhat sweet, and the galactose is not very sweet at all. So that's why when you drink a glass of milk, which is lactose, it's half galactose and half glucose. So it's somewhat sweet tasting, but not really. If you eat a potato, it is, consists of a whole bunch of the glucose molecules. We don't really taste that sweetness. But if you have a candy bar, it's full of glucose joined to the fructose, and that fructose makes it taste very sweet. But whatever you're consuming, the potato to the candy bar, it all boils down to glucose in your blood. So even if what you are consuming doesn't taste sweet, know that if it is a carbohydrate, you are consuming glucose, and that is still raising the blood glucose, which we can measure if you are consuming those carbohydrates. Thank you.